started the morning off with a little bit of a hiccup. It's raining. Well, it was raining last night, so I held off coming till this morning. Starting my hike, it's about four miles to the top. And it's gonna be my last hunt of the season. So hopefully we get lucky. Starting the long journey up the hill. All right, I've kind of made it to the main trail where the hike kind of starts. And I'll show you headed up kind of into those clouds over there. Uh, it's about four miles of like serpentining. And Onyx says 2,500 feet of elevation gain. But that's where the deer are, so hopefully. Okay, we finally made it to my campsite. Right next to this tree. Everything is soaking wet. Got my tent all set up. Um, cloud cover's starting to go away a little bit, a lot less foggy, so it's good for me so that I'm not just hiking or walking and not seeing what's in front of me while I'm trying to get to an area so I can sit and kind of glass a little bit. So just a little recap of the first day. Got up here around 12, set up camp, and I started to look for deer. It's kind of a bust today, um, right up until the end. I didn't see anything. I saw a couple tracks that looked like they may have been recent and were just washed out from the rain, but nothing very nothing very like matter of fact found some poop that may have been fresh but it's been raining so it's hard to tell but then on the way back right where i had walked up before there was like a very brand new fresh print that was a pretty good size of print which gave me more hope my plan is tomorrow to sit by the pond and do that in the morning and then just kind of figure out where I'm going to go after that. Might shoot over to the other side into the field. But for now, I'm starving. Um, I'm going to boil some water, make my uh, mountain house thing while that's cooking, set up my tent, and then read and go to bed. And that is a pretty rad campsite scenery. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Sat by this pond. Found a chair in the bushes. But I'm not seeing a lot of sign. So it's a little disappointing. Something that's nice after the rain, although everything's wet, everything's super quiet to walk on. So like all these oak leaves that would normally be cracking in my feet are just really soft and moist. Um, also, if you hunt, you know this, but deer have a very distinct smell. Um, and I keep getting intense whiffs of it, like being downwind of something. It just smells like the zoo, I guess is the best way to smell it, to explain it. really tough because like you get to see all this but to get to where you can see all this you have to come up from here 
and you have to like climb this thing which is not that difficult to do but it's a little bit difficult to do and try to be really quiet and I came up and I kind of like inched my way up and she was just standing just standing right here and she didn't see me and I was kind of like Ooh. and like laid to my side and I got my binos out to make sure it wasn't like a spike buck and it was a doe I got my rangefinder out and it was like 66 yards. I was like, well, I mean, she doesn't see me and I'm not, I'm not going to take that long of a shot. So I started to kind of like adjust myself to try to like slide back down the rock because it's a little bit sketchy. And um, I like checked back on her and she was just grilling me like in the eyes. And I was like, well, that's pretty much it. So I just laid here and got a good video of her. And then at one point, I was just, I had my head up still, so we were just staring at each other. And I was like, I don't want to move. I don't want to even blink. And uh, she finally, like, stomped her foot and turned her head really quick and started flicking her tail. And I was like, yeah, there she goes. And then she just, she blew at me probably 15 times as she ran 200 yards. And I know where she's at. I know where she went. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to push down there anymore and bother that situation because now if there was anything else down there, everything knows I was down there. So I'm probably going to go back up, up and check the field on the way down and then I'm just going to come back here in the morning and I'll probably come down this little road and sit under one of these trees or something. It's going to be wet, but if she's down here, Hopefully she likes to be down here and she just stays down here. So I like to think that I learn something every time I like mess up on a deer or something. And to be honest, I'm just happy I saw a deer at this point. I was getting very discouraged. Um, but I don't really feel like I learned anything right there. Like, I don't really feel like I made any mistake other than just, like, that deer being unfortunately close to where I crested a rock. Like, I was, like, a deer that close is gonna hear me trying to get off that rock. A deer at 150 yards? I could probably get off that rock, not worry about it, but 60 yards, man, it's like, I don't know, it's just tough. So, like I said, it's a really good spot, but probably a little better spot for rifle, but I did get to see a deer, and I've been kind of just hoping for that alone, so, um, gives me hope that they're up here still. You know they are, but I don't know. At a certain point, you're like, am I in the right spot anymore? So, I'm just going to work back to the other field. See uh, see if anything moved into there. Hopefully it did. Hopefully we get time for another stock. But So, I think my plan for tomorrow morning is to go up this little trail that goes up higher than that field, but I'll be able to see the full field. I'll just be, you know, 300 yards away from it, which I feel like is better than just stomping into the field in the morning and hoping I get to the right spot and have good cover when it's dark and just end up blowing the whole thing out. So I'm just gonna go sit high on a rock and um, just hope that I see a deer and then can work on getting to it. Um, I would be lying if I said I didn't have an internal argument with myself laying there being like, you can shoot 66 yards. And my other self's telling me, you know better than that. Which I know on paper, or like at a target, I can shoot that all day. But, I don't know, downhill, a lot of variables. So, um...
but yeah, I didn't because I didn't want to have to injure an animal. That would have been a really crappy, crappy end to this. So we're just going to hike back quietly, hope to see something, and then hike out early in the morning and go sit up on a rock. See what the morning brings us. Alright, so, I don't know if you can tell, but... It rained quite a bit last night, which is not super rad. Good morning. It's, uh, I'm sitting up on this rock where I said I was going to be last night. Um, kind of rained all night. It's more just a really heavy drizzle, and then it did it this, this morning as soon as I got to where I was sitting. So, a little damp, but that's alright. Anyways, we're looking... gives me a little better vantage. It is still pretty foggy, so it's kind of hard to see down in there, but um, doesn't mean they aren't down there, so. Okay, so I found what I'm guessing is that same deer, because, I don't know, it's been the only one I've seen. It's pretty close to me. I'm pretty sure she doesn't see me. It's kind of hard to see her, but she is about 350 yards away so my plan is to get quietly off this rock with all my gear hike down this trail and over here where she can't see me she won't be able to see me over there and i'll ditch my gear and i'll kind of strip down and then just go for it. It'll basically be my last shot. So try to go slow and just take my time. Hopefully, hopefully she stays under that tree. And now, right as I said that, she got up and she's just kind of feeding and just moseying along. So she definitely doesn't see me or she's not worried about me. Um, check my wind. Also, look at this view. Wind's perfect, it's blowing right back at me. So she probably doesn't even know I'm here. So I'll try to get off this rock. Okay, so right as I was about to leave, I checked on her one more time, and there's two deer. Pretty sure both are does, but we're gonna move anyways. Looks like they're just hanging out under that tree. I gave it about 10 minutes to watch them. They're not really doing anything crazy. They definitely don't know I'm here. The wind's going in the right direction, so I'm just gonna try to move in on them. Try to keep you updated. <laughs> snuck down into here they weren't under that tree and I was a little concerned so I just waited and then I saw one of their butts like over here in there and I couldn't see the other one and 
So I just kind of went for it after about 10 minutes. Started sneaking in there and I, could, I ranged one of them at 58 yards, but he was through a tree. So I was kind of trying to sneak over, like move, move diagonally up and towards him. Um, and then I don't think it was the deer I was looking at because it sounded like it was further to the left. I heard a big blow from a deer. And uh, I don't think they're here anymore. But that was pretty fun, so can't complain. So I'm at this tree where they were, and it's pretty cool. Everything's wet around me and whatnot, but you can clearly see where that deer was laying because we could see her right through these bushes. Um, and we were up there, you could see her right through here. She was laying in that spot, bedded down, and then the other deer was somewhere up here. Oh, right here. Everything's all matted down. It's not wet. So that's right where the other one was lying. I'm guessing they were both those, just because um, I didn't. I only got to look at one of them close when I was stalking in. It was definitely a doe. I'm guessing the other one was a doe. Um, but now yeah, we're just gonna walk back to where we stashed all of our stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of deer activity in here. I wish I would have found this the first morning, but that's how she goes. So, I'm just also looking for deer sheds, because that's like my favorite thing in the world. Can't be mad getting to stalk a couple deer. Kind of all you ask for is the opportunity. So, once the deer are there and you see them, oh yeah. This is all You can see all this. This is like probably day old deer poop. So I haven't found a shed, but that is a healthy size I'm guessing a cow femur. Or a cow bone at least. Um probably a femur. Alright, we're all packed up. On our way back to camp. Always potential something happens on the way back as well, so I'm gonna keep paying attention. So something I will say is that I've put my gear through the paces more so than I ever have. Like compared to a lot of people, it's not a lot, but normally I'm dealing with like really hot weather, so like I'm worried about if like my clothes are gonna wick the sweat away and like you know just staying cool. Um, but this time it was I had to deal with like cold it wasn't super cold it was cold but just like super wet which i've never really dealt with and surprisingly i stayed dry the whole time my tent did good my boots my boots have been like ever since i started up the trail walking through stuff my boots have never dried like they've been soaking wet the whole time walking through puddles walking in thick mud um and the insides have stayed dry the whole time, which having dry feet is like huge for me. I mean, it's hard to complain when you're having a good time and you're dry out here by yourself. There's no one up here. These are all my footprints going back and forth throughout the days. Um, it's nice and thick mud, but there are no other tracks. So, pretty cool. As much as it sucks to have to come home after hunting, and be done hunting as long as you got a dog makes it all the better hi buddy how are you oh say hi mm. just a friendly reminder to always check yourself for ticks after you go hunting because I was just in the shower and I was like, man, my side kind of hurts. Like, it feels like I got poked by something. I don't know if he's dead or what, but he obviously didn't get very much blood. But 
Now I get to take that thing out. Hope I don't get Lyme's disease. First time, first time for everything. I wasn't gonna share this, but I feel like I owe it to you guys. Um, I legit just sharded on this walk down and like just trusted a fart and I should not have trusted it and had to drop my pants in the middle of this trail hoping no one was looking at me or anything and clean myself up and I'm not going to tell you if I put the same underwear back on I'll leave that I'll leave that up to you guys to decide but now I was like a quarter of the way down I'm getting towards the halfway mark and I've just been dealing with it and I'm glad I had those combat wipes because oh, it could have been bad. It was not a good one. It's not, it not good. So, anyways, that's what I got going on right now.